today's video, we're going back 20 years to open a 2004 Yu-Gi-Oh! 10. What's up guys, we are back and we have another amazing 10, the Command Knight 10, and you guys know why 2004 is awesome. Ancient Sanctuary, Invasion of Chaos, Dark Crisis, Magician's Force, and Pharaonic Guardian. I mean, you cannot beat that selection. That's some really, really amazing stuff. This one was purchased by Zach B on my website, ruxin34.com, and he said he wanted it to be opened up. So shout out to Zach B in the comments. Now we have the giveaway. I'll be giving away these two Guardian cards. Guardian Seal, first death from Dark Crisis. Speaking of, we're opening some of it. And a Guardian Grove, first edition. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below what you think about this Command Night 10. Do you have any nostalgic memories of it? Also, thanks Zach in the comments. And don't you worry guys, we have some additional packs to open as well, including some Ghosts from the Past 1 and some others as well. I'm gonna start it off with a Ghost from the Past 1 because I've been searching for that Dark Magician for a little bit now. We're trying to get another one. We haven't pulled one in quite a while. Time Thief Retrograde. We have the Sun Avalon. Okay, someone told me one of the Sun Avalons, I think it's Dryas, is really expensive in the comments. And I saw, so we're gonna be keeping an eye out for that because Ghost from the Past one's like six bucks or something, which is as much as evenly matched now. It might be like the best card in the set. It's not a ghost. So gotta keep an eye out for that ultra rare throughout the packs. Hieratic Dragon, Metaphol's Vault Flame. We have the Recover. And a Sun Avalon, dry, <laughs> dry Trinche, okay. I don't know about that one. Okay, let's open another pack that's not Ghost from the Past. Let's do a little Pharaoh's Servant, 25th anniversary. See if we can get that Genzo right here. Genzo time, one, two, three. Let's see if we can do it. I like it's just one, two, three from the back. Don't have to do anything else crazy. Oni Tank, Rux and 34, this is great. You love to see the Oni Tank, Rux and 34. We have Sky Scout, Dark Fire Soldier number two, Minor Goblin Official, Overdrive, that was a nice item. We've got The Shallow Grave and Island Turtle. Okay, nothing too crazy there. Don't worry, a few more packs that we have before we're gonna get into Zach's opening, which is, you know, we've had some good luck with these 2004 tins. Some have been terrible, some have been great. I'm gonna BLS before. We've had over five, so it's like, it literally could be anything out of these tins. Fairy Tale, we have Sun Vanilla. We're hoping for that high end, of course. Sun Sea Twin and uh, Grenadine Ambergram. We have not pulled a Ghost out of Ghost in the past one. It's probably been like 200 packs. So I would love to break that streak. Let's get something out of Spell Ruler though, real quick. So how about the uh, Relinquished? The Blue Eyes Tune Dragon? How about Axe of Despair? That'd be pretty cool. How about the Amoeba? Very important. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hungry Burger with Commencement Dance. We have Final Destiny. Flying Comic Curie number one and Metal Fish. A Metal Fish with a Razor Sharp Coddle Fin. So far, it's been, okay, it hasn't been a complete dud because we do have the best card in Pharaoh Serpent, so it's not bad. Let's see if we can get something ghostly. It's almost Halloween, guys. When you see this, it could even be Halloween. I don't, maybe we should do a Halloween video. Resonator Engine, we have Hieratic Seal. Hieratic Seal of Heavenly Spears. That's it. Oh yeah, that used to be a good card, and uh, I think it went down in price because it got like another reprint. When was it? I don't know. Maybe this was the reprint that killed it, I think. I randomly had a 2021 10 of Ancient Battles pack, which by the way, this is like, these are completely cheap now. Like they have gone way, way down. And I wonder why, probably because every card in here has a better rarity or a reprint since then. So that's what happens. So th these are completely worthless for the most part. There's a couple of good cards still in here that we want to get. I don't think that's the one we're looking for. We have uh, Piercing the Darkness and Animador and Arkansas. That might be decent, actually. That might be our best pull yet, to be honest. I bet it's still not more than a dollar, though. It might it might be a dollar. Okay, goes to the past. I did play Dinos at a YCS one time. One of my two YCSs, I mean, I did do Edison the other day, which I think I'm gonna make some sort of video out of. I didn't really make a huge vlog out of it because I was actually playing the entire tournament, so I really didn't have time to do anything. Um, besides actually play, which was kind of, it was interesting. It was a different experience for me because I have played in YCSs before, but I played, I stayed like two or three days and I played like four rounds or whatever. So I still had a lot of time to do other stuff. Cyber X Dragon, that is an actual good card. We will take that. So this was pretty interesting just to like, I went up, played Edison for five rounds. It took like eight hours and then I left. No, or I, I mean, I went to eat and left. So it wasn't too, it wasn't up there too long. Time to fly back. We have the Laval Volcano Handmaiden and finally, Okay, Okay. I, I'm holding out hope, but it's not working out so far. Now we have a 2017. This is not a 25th anniversary, it's 2017 Invasion of Chaos. So six year old pack at this point, not bad. Not as good as the, uh, you know, 20 year old 10 we're about to open, essentially 20 year old, it's not quite 20, but 
it's getting there. Uh, did I do the back trick right? I think I did. Self struck button. Lord Poison, we have Thunder Crash. I like how these look now compared to the 25th. They're like old school style. Even though they're lighter and you can really tell they're not, they're just the 2017s, but still pretty cool. Desk Kangaroo, Inferno, Pinch Hopper, Chain Disappearance, and Blasting the Ruins. Okay, so nothing too exciting in there. I had high hopes, but we'll save that for Zach's 10. Two more packs for me. Can I get that Ghost Rider? Last chance right here. Then we have. Pretty exciting pack to end it off for what I'm gonna be opening. Let's see, or at least for me, personally. We have Star Knight Blast, Hard Egg Dragon. We're gonna get a Ghost Trap right here. It's gonna happen. No, it's not. It's not gonna happen. Okay, but we're ending it off with the 2017 Legend of Blue Eyes pack. So, uh, pretty exciting. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, let's do this. I think that this could be pretty epic. One, two, three, four. I think you gotta do that for this one. The Numi Rico. We have the Tripwire Beast. Basic Insect. Can we get that Blue Eyes White Dragon? Dark Magician. Red Eyes White Dragon. Exodia the Forbidden One. By the way, did you guys see at the YCS someone won with Exodia for like four rounds? This is very clean. We got the other arm. <laughs> and all five pieces have been assembled. The legs, the arms, the head. Exodia obliterate. Wild Germs. That was pretty crazy. Dark King of the Abyss. Beast Fangs. Spike Seedra. We have stop defense and my final card before we get into the 2014 opening. Let's get that blue eyes. Or the trial of nightmare, a very cool card. I mean, it's not the original trial of hell, but very, very awesome. Cool stuff. Now it's time to get into the 10. All right, we are on to 2004. Let's check this out one more time. Warning, there is fi yeah, fire inside. Yeah, okay, maybe not, that's not what it says. Uh, but I wish it did. Maybe that's what it, it is intending to say. It's not actually saying it. This, these are so loose, it's kind of weird. You can just like pull them open. I, I don't really love that for like the sealed product. It doesn't matter because we're opening it, but keeping it sealed and there's like this giant, these things coming off the corners, I'm not a fan of that. It's because of the shape of the tin. I mean, it made it hard to do it like that. So here we go. Let's see if the promo is going to look nice. First of all, it looks a little, little bit warped. Oh man. Oh man, we're chunking it. How did that happen? Okay, card. Okay, we didn't damage it, thank goodness. <laughs> that was scary. I just pulled it and then it just, normally these are impossible to get off. This one is uh, an exception, it seems. Okay, so a little work. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's unfortunate. It's a little, you can see there's a little bit of Pringling going on here. It happens sometimes, but the, I oh, mean, the back looks good. Unfortunately, there's that. It feels like it's on the surface. I wonder if that could come off. You always gotta be careful trying to get stuff off the surface, but Definitely can feel the surface there. Okay, Command Knight. Got a little thing. Still, I mean, it's still in pretty good condition, but I mean, obviously not a gradable 10 right now, unless you were able to get that off and then flatten it. You can flatten it out pretty easily under some books or whatever, and then it would probably be pretty nice because the centering's pretty good. Back look pretty good. So I don't know, maybe some some little work on this card might make it actually a, a candidate. You never know, but it's, I never really recommend like doing a lot of like stuff. Like some people want to put like, chemicals on their car. I'm like, don't do that. That's a bad idea. But if you can take like a little thing and just like, sometimes your fingernail, if you're really careful, I would be really careful if you do this. You can go, not with this thing, but you can go, if there's a little thing, you can pop, pop and just kind of don't touch the card at all. You got to get only on the thing, but it's, it's tough. So I don't know. I'm sure you guys have tried this stuff over the years, but we have five packs here. All right. We have Ancient Sanctuary, Dark Crisis, IOC, MFC, PGD. We're going to do this order, I think like that. All right, Zach, I want to pull you five out of five foils. Let's do it right now. Ancient Sanctuary, look at this. This is an unlimited Ancient Sanctuary. You don't see these that often. All right, my audio has been off the whole time. Uh, so you have phone audio until now. So hopefully you enjoyed. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not going to be as good. So I, I noticed right before this, thank goodness, the, the actual good part of the opening, not saying that it goes from the past one, you know, we're going to get that Dark Magician. That's going to be good, but you know what I mean. So let's go. Ancient Sanctuary. I noticed we do not have phone audio anymore. I'm stupid. Uh, I always forget when you turn my computer off, it like turns the mic off. So I have to like physically turn it back on. Other than that, it, it's always on. So yeah, that's how I mess up. One, two, three, four. That's fine. We're going to go crazy right here. Zach's going to be pumped. Monster Gate used in Go format. Pretty cool. Night Assailant. That's another good card. Man, look at that. Oh, they're both dinged in the corner. That's unfortunate. Don't be dinged on a hollow slot. Okay, it's getting a little better, but that's still dinged. Door of Fate. Mystical Shine Ball. The Kickman. Hitmon Lee. Sword of Soul Eater. Nubian Guard. We have Kazaki in his studies. Watch out. Well, not really. His studies are not coming yet. Here's the potential foil. We want Burst Stream Destruction. We want Dark Magic Attack. Arc Lord Zerato. Um, we need the Secret Rares. End of Anubis would be cool. 
Ooh, the Emissary of the Afterlife. Speaking of Exodia, this is like a common Exodia card because it can get like a normal out of the graveyard, right? No, add from the deck. So you get to add, oh yeah, you get to add an Exodia piece when it goes from field to graveyard. So pretty cool. Exodia mentioned already and we've pulled one now. All right, good start there. Not bad. We are already one for one. Let's see if Dark Crisis can continue that with a Exodia Necros, a Vampire. Well, I don't know if we get Vampire Lord out of a 10, can we? I'm guessing it'd be Judgment of the Divis. So uh, instead of that, maybe uh, Shinado, King of a Higher Plane. Lane. Guardian Grawl, we gave one away. I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I like the Grawl. He's pretty awesome. We could also pull the Guardian Seal as well. Four from the pack. Four from the back of the pack. We have Little Wingard. Arsenal. Summoner. Battle. Footballer. He's footballing. Precious Cards from Beyond. Arsenal Robber. Dark Scorpion Gork the Strong. Fairy of the Spring. DD Trainer. And finally, we have one more card. Will it be the Exodian Necros? Let's go. No, the Death Feral Imp. The Feral Imp has returned. Unfortunately, that is not a hollow, but that's okay. It's Dark Crisis. These other ones have bigger hits. Let's go for on a Guardian. Inside, we could get Metamorphosis. We could get the, uh, what's the, uh, Maiden of the Aqua? Her. We could get the Trap Dust Shoot. We get Book of Moon. These are all non-hollows. You can get Don Zalug if you're going to get a hollow. You can get the uh, Hell Palmer. I mean, there's a lot of awesome cards in Pharaonic Guardian. Let's see if we can pull some of them right here. One, two, three, four. Pharaonic Guardian often has like, like the cards are not cut evenly. It's insane. The quality control, some of the worst ever. Like the cards are not the same size in the back. It's ridiculous. This one feels like it's not too bad. Call the Mummy here. We have Impachi before he becomes Blazing Impachi in IOC. The Ordeal of a Traveler, a card I'd never even thought about until uh, all of Simo's series. We have the Shape Snatch. Ew. Low tie with horrible power. Watch out. Desakuda. Pac-Man. We have Grave Keeper's Assailant. Dark Snake Syndrome. We have Timidity. And finally, is this the card? Will it be a foil? Ooh, a Dark Room of Nightmare. Another super rare. So he is now two for three. Two supers. Now we're just looking for an ultra and a secret, and we're good to go, basically. That's a pretty awesome looking super right there. Leaves us with two final packs in this opening. We have Invasion of Chaos. We have pulled the BLS before. We've pulled the DMOC a lot, but I'm trying to remember if we pulled an original one. I'm pretty sure we have, but I'm okay with pulling them both again. Either one would be great. Let's see if we can do it. There's also some other cool cards like Dimension Fusion. That's a big one. Can we potentially pull it right here? One, two, three, four. Let's go. Invasion of Chaos. Ryu Koki, an awesome zombie goat card. Uh, it's just a pretty awesome skull card. And we got one super rare print, I think, in Dark Beginning 2, Dark Revelation, something like that. We have Gale Lazard, Hyper Hammerhead, all right. DD Borderline, The Molten Zombie, Soul Tigre, oh, with that 2100 defense. I mean, that was back in the day. I was like, whoa, 2100 defense. It's huge. It's bigger than all the LLB guys by 100. Primal Seed. What else are we going to get? Can we get a foil grin? Maju Day Eyes. I mean, I. I Absolutely iconic card right there. And Chain Disappearance. All right. Just a rare. So not an ultra. Not one of the big three that we're looking for. That leaves us with one final pack. Magician's Force. There are some amazing cards in here. Dark Paladin. I don't know if you can get Dark Magician Girl on the 10 pack. I'm not going to lie. I think it's Diffusion Wave Motion. I'm still not 100% sure on that, but I'm like 95% sure. So we're really looking for Dark Paladin which is an amazing card because it, it's the unlip. So it's going to be like the corrected art looking one. So it's going to be really cool. There's also a breaker in here. There's some other really awesome stuff like the skilled white magician, skilled dark magician. Let's see if we can pull some big. There's some pretty nice commons in here as well. Like uh, and then nice. I, I say nice. Kaiser Coliseum, stuff like that. We have a meta silver armor roulette barrel. I use this at some point in the auction series. Uh, white dragon ritual. The Pineapple Blast, watch out. The pineapple's coming for you. Freezing Beast. People running about. I mean, an iconic card. Although they always suffer in silence, they swear an oath to inevitably revolt. They're always suffering in silence, but one day they're gonna revolt. Secret Barrel, crazy burn card. Magical Plant Mandragola, very nostalgic to me. I remember seeing this card all the time. And our final chance at something crazy for Zach. Come on, Zach, let's get you something good. Let him know in the comments that you're supporting. Here we go, let's get something crazy. 
Oh, it's the combination attack of the freezing beast and the burning beast. Okay, final pack. We went two for five. I mean, honestly, not too bad. No huge hits this time, but we're hoping that next time we can do even better. Make sure to thank Zach again in the comments for this awesome content. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, Liu, Gwine 62, Yu-Gi-Oh! Unboxed, and Natai Show, Ian Musa, Jr. Bardic, Robert F., Thomas McLean, and Changa Lang. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.